Hey, welcome back to the next lesson on how to make our Among Us project multiplayer. In this lesson, we'll show you how to create new spawn points so that each player is instantiated on a different spawn point around the center cafeteria table. Now, before we begin, I want to give you a quick reminder that you can find all of our YouTube content and more on our official website at www.infogamerhub.com. And if you sign up to become a monthly supporter, you can unlock even more content including the source code for this tutorial series. Now to synchronize spawn points across the network, the first thing that we need to do is create some new spawn points. So for this, I've started with a new empty game object, which I've called game controller. Now this object has a new script attached to it, but we'll talk about this script later because we need to add 10 more empty game objects as child to our game controller. So we'll right click on our game controller, select create empty. This first object I've named spawn space parentheses one. And all we need to do is add a third empty game object as child to this object, which I've called spawn point. The only thing that I've changed for this object is its X position, which I've set to four. And I've given this object a gizmo icon, which is the blue bar. This makes it so that the name of this object appears in our scene. From here, we can then duplicate our spawn one object. And all we need to do is rotate each incrementing child object by 36 degrees on the Z axis. So we have 0, 36, 72, 108, 144, 180, 216, 252, 288, and 324. This gives us a circle of transforms and we can now take our game controller object and reposition our circle so that it's surrounding the center table in the cafeteria. At this point, we can now create the new script that we have attached to our game controller object. And I've named this script AU Game Controller. Once you have the script created, we can then open it up. Inside the script, the first thing that we need to do is create a singleton for the script. So I have public static AU Game Controller which I've called instance. And then the second variable is a public variable of type transform, which I've made an array and I've called it spawn points. Once you have these variables created, we need to initialize our singleton. And so in the start function, I have instance equals this. And then if we want to, for now, we can remove the update function since we're not using it. We can save this script. And then we want to jump over to our my photon player script. This is the script that's attached to our photon player prefab and instantiates our player avatar. Inside the script, the first thing that we need to do is add a new namespace up at the top, which is using photon.realtime. This allows us to access the player type, which we need for a new variable. This variable is of type player and I've made it an array and it's called all players. And the second variable that we need is an int called my number in room. We're gonna use these variables to figure out our player number in the current room, and we'll do this within the start function. And so the first thing that we need to do is get the player list and save it into the all players variable. And so I have all players equals photon network dot player list. And after this, I have a for each loop where I'm looking at each P player in our all players array. And inside this for each loop, I have an if statement where I'm checking if P does not equal photon network dot local player. If this if statement is true, then we want to increment the my number in room variable. Once we figure out our player number in the current room, we can then change the line of code where we're instantiating our avatar to instantiate our avatar on the corresponding spawn point. And so before this line of code only had vector3.0 for the spawn point position, but instead we've changed it to augamecontroller.instance.spawnpoint and we want to get the spawn point at my number in room dot position. And once you've done this, you can save the script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, all we have to do is select our game controller. We want to set our spawn points array to the size of 10, after which we can drag each spawn point into the corresponding fields. Then the last thing that we can do before we test out our project is load into our quick start scene. We can then expand the photon quick start prefab and select the quick start lobby controller object and then change the room size to 10. We can then build our project and test it out. And so here I'll click play in the standalone and I'll play in the editor. And here you can see that we now have two astronauts in our scene, but they've been instantiated on their spawn points. Then if I want to test more players, I can right click on our standalone and select Among Us.exe. This will open up a new standalone window. And I can click Play Now. And there we now have three players. And I can actually keep doing that. 
and keep adding players. And each player is instantiated on a new spawn point around the table. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to create new spawn points for a multiplayer game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new videos.